Hello, good evening. Welcome to a new class. How are you today? Today is Friday. Welcome. Hi, Mario. Hi, teacher. Uh, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. De Zelda, welcome. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Carolina, hello. Welcome. Okay, let's begin with the... Hello, teacher. Buenas noches. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure. Good evening. Okay. Um, yesterday, we were learning about the use of frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs, right? These are the frequency adverbs. Always, usually often, sometimes, rarely, and never, right? And yesterday we will say that, uh, that always is 100%, is all the time. For example, I always breathe. Breathe, right? Breathe, breathe, always, always. Drink water, duk, 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 duk. always. Always. In the case of Mario, drink tea. Always, always, all the time, right? Uh, drink soda. In the case of the teacher, drink soda. Never, never. Zero percent, right? Zero percent. So in this case, uh, always is all the time, 100 percent. And never is zero percent, right? Zero percent. And usually is like 90% approximately. Often is like 60%, right? Sometimes is like 40%, right? Okay. Good. And rarely is like, you know, 10% approximately, approximately. Okay, good. Now the position of the frequency adverbs are between the subject and the verb, right? So I say, I always run. Uh, let's check it out this use, right? I always wash the dishes. So in this case, uh, always, sorry, I is the subject, right? Always is the frequency adverb. And wash, wash is the verb, right? I, al I always wash the dishes. Subject, frequency adverb, and wash, the verb, right? <laughs> Question. Is it absolutely necessary to use frequency adverbs? Is absolutely necessary? No, no, it's not necessary. You can say only subject, verb, and complement. No problem. But to show the frequency of the action, is necessary to say always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never, etc., etc., right? Okay, good. So repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Oh, just give me a second. Um, Linda. Teacher. Okay, good. Yes, yes, George. I know today only one hour, right? Sí, no, lo que le quería decir de que los compañeros están pidiendo en el chat que les envíe el link de ingreso porque no cayó. Ah. Solo le enviaron por correo electrónico, pero no todos lo tienen. Okay, let me check it out. So... Let me check it out because. Eh, in... Ahorita la acaban de mandar. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, thank you very much because I need to open my WhatsApp because it's in the WhatsApp, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope they can connect. Eh, keep me, keep the information for me, Jorge. Tell me, please, if the 
if your classmate can connect to the class, right? Okay, good. So repeat after me, please. I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. We rarely go shopping. You never dust. Okay, Jorge, can you read again, please, for the class? Um, I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. They often does the laundry. They sometimes take off the garbage. We, we rarely, we rarely go shopping. You never does. You never does or dust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Give me a second, please. Um, we have information here. Mm. Give me a second. I will copy here some information, right? Uh, Odmar is listener. Brian is listener. Okay, good. Let's continue, right? Thank you, Jorge, for the reading. Now we're going to make some correction, right? Correct the the position of the of the frequency, right? Number one, he checks never email in the evening. Mm. He checks. Correct. What is the correct sentence? He never checks. He never checks, right? Okay. He never checks. So I copy here. He never checks, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, Griselda, can you help me, please? We rarely visit friends on weekends. It's okay or no? It's okay. Okay. It's, okay. it's correct, right? Number two is correct. Now, uh, Jorge, number three, they listen often to music in the afternoon. Correct or incorrect? They listen often to music in the afternoon. Correct. Correct? Mm, no lo sé, Rick. <laughs> I don't know, Rick. It looks fake. What do you think, Ernesto? Correct or incorrect? No incorrect. Three. Okay, so what is the correct? Ernesto, they? They often? Uh-huh, they often? Listen to music in the afternoon? Listen to music, right? In the afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you very much. Now, uh, Christian, please. Chris, number four. Correct or incorrect? She goes sometimes to parties on Friday evening. Correct or incorrect? Uh -huh, Chris, what do you think? Correct or incorrect, Christian? 
Can you hear? Hello, hello, Chris. Do you copy, Chris? Copy, copy. Okay. Number four. Number four, correct or incorrect? I don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Okay. Public, please. Ana Maria, can you help me? Incorrect. Incorrect. Very good. So what is the correct information? She? She, she goes. Mm. I don't know, Rick. Sometime? Huh? <laughs> Sorry? She sometime, sometimes, right? Sometimes she goes, goes to party on Friday evening. Goes to parties. Very good. She sometimes goes to party, right? Good. Number okay. five. Number five, please. Jancy. Welcome, Jancy. Oscar and his Buenas wife. Noches, profe. Hello, hello. Welcome, Jancy. Uh, <laughs> Oscar and his wife go dancing always. Correct or incorrect, Jancy? Perdón, me puede repetir la pregunta. Number five, number five. Oscar and his wife go dancing always. That is correct or incorrect? Um, correct. Correct. Mm, I don't know, Rick. <laughs> so, um... What do you think, Dagoberto? What do you think, Dagoberto? Is correct or incorrect? Dag mm, correct. Is correct. Mm, hmm. I don't know, Rick. Is incorrect. Incorrect, right? Incorrect, yes. Very good, it's incorrect. Now, let's copy the correct one. Oscar and his wife, always. Always. Yes. Always go dancing, right? Oscar and his wife, always go dancing. Okay, good. Now, number six. I sometimes take a nap. Claudia, what do you think, Claudia? Correct or incorrect? Number six. Correct or incorrect? Cling. Oh, and correct or incorrect? Claudia, Claudia, 10 cuatro, 10 cuatro. Copy, copy. Ok. Now, Aquí estoy. <laughs> ajá, Claudia. Eh, number Oye, six. Quise... Correct bueno. o incorrect, Claudia? Permítame, quiero ver. Number six, number six. En... Llamada al público, Claudia. Este, eh, pues en realidad la palabra sometimes. Ajá. Sometimes. ¿Quieres, eh, ¿quieres ver qué no, significa sometimes? Ahorita le digo. No es que sé, ajá, es que eso no. Okay, look. They sometimes take out the garbage. Ellos algunas veces sacan la basura. They sometimes take out the garbage. 
¿Ok? Sí. ¿Correct o incorrect? A nap es una siesta, una siesta, a nap. A nap. Pero after es como... Después, anterior, después, después. Después, después. Después del almuerzo, right. After lunch, lunch es como comida. Es como, es como almuerzo. Es... Uh -huh. so. Vamos a darle que, co que correcto. Okie dokie, <risa> yes. <risa> Siento un poco al Team Marín, pero sí, está correcto. Yes. Uh. <laughs> ok, thank you, Claudia. Now, number six is correct. Ok, right? Okie dokie. But, listen to me, always, I mean, sometimes is acceptable at the beginning. So you can say, I sometimes I take a, a nap. Or you can say like this, I sometimes take a nap, right? Good. Now, uh, Josue, please, number seven, Josue. Correct or incorrect? My friends play usually soccer on Sunday. Correct. Correct, yeah. Uh, correct. Remember, the clue here is always identify the subject and the verb, right? Jorge said last time that this is the most important part in a simple present. Identify the subject and the verb. Identificar el sujeto y el verbo, right? So, Josué, between the subject and the verb, we have the frequency other, right? Entre el sujeto y el verbo siempre vamos a colocar el adverbio de frecuencia, right? In this case, the average frequency is usually. So, Josué, yeah. what, what yeah. is the subject? What is the subject, Josué? Sería... ¿Cuál es el sujeto? What is the subject? My friends. My friends, correct, good. Excellent. Also, now. And what is the verb? What is the action? It's play. Play, good. Entonces sería, uh, my friend usually play soccer in Sunday. Congratulations. Lee, give me a sec second, please. Dudley? Congratulations. Yes. My friends usually play, right? Uh-huh. My friends usually play. Okay? Excellent also. Now number number eight. Number eight. Um let me see. Ana Maria, again, please. We exercise in the morning always. Correct or incorrect? Ana incorrect. Maria. Incorrect, right? What is the correct? We always ex exercise in the morning. In the morning, right? Okie dokie. Hong, hong. Excelentoso, right? Excelentoso. Now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me, please. He never. Teacher, I have a question. Oh, yeah, yes, Chris. Why in the eighth sentence, uh, why we don't use uh, do? Ah, because in the simple present affirmative. Never use do or does. Never. Only solo, solo in only, uh -huh, only in negative. Uh -huh, yes, Josué. Only in questions and in negative, Chris. Only in questions and negative. In affirmative, no. No do, no does. Mm -mm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Now, again, repeat after me, please. Number number one. He never checks email in the evening. He never checks email in the evening. We rarely, rarely 
We rarely visit friends on weekends. They often listen to music in the afternoon. They often listen to music in the afternoon. She sometimes goes to parties on Friday evening. She sometimes goes to parties on Friday evening. Oscar and his wife always go dancing. Oscar and his wife always go dancing. I sometimes take a nap after lunch. I sometimes take a nap after lunch. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. We always exercise in the morning. We always, no, ah, yes, yes, sorry. We always exercise in the morning. Okay, class, that's it, right? Now, any question? Any extra question? No question, teacher. No question for the moment. Okie dokie. Now, um, I will show you uh, a material, right? And then we are going to take the attendance, right? To take the attendance. Okay. Here we have this conversation, right? Uh, using frequency adverbs. Here we have this conversation. And right. And we're going to practice. But before to go to the conversation, we're going to take the attendance. Give me a second here. Good. Now, Ana Maria. Present. Thank you. Brian, ya le tomamos la asistencia de oyente. Claudia. Present. Thank you. Chris? Here. Daisy? <laughs> Daisy? Miss Castellanos Arevalo? Dago? Present. You? Glenda? Glenda? Diez cuatro, diez cuatro, Glenda, do you copy? Glenda, do you hear me? Bueno, ahí veo que está activa, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a poner la asistencia. Okay, es que voy de camino a casa. Ok, ah, good. No, no problem. No problem. No problem. Le voy a poner oyente. Cuando, me, cuando llegue a casita, me avisa. Yes, please. Yo me aviso. Ok, thank you. Griselda? Present. Eh, Jorge. Present. Eh, a las nueve se va a retirar, ¿verdad, Jorge? Sí. Sí, sí. Eh, ¿Quién más se va a retirar a las nueve? ¿Me recuerda? Eh, no sé si Dagoberto lo iba a hacer también. Ah, bueno. También. También, bueno. Okay. Pero el problema es que no nos invitaron a la fiesta. Bueno. 
Vamos, vamos. <risa> ok. Es de madrugada. A la madrugada que nos toca a las 3 de la mañana. Buena fiesta. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Josué. Present. Thank you. Eh, Carolina, ya le pusimos la asistencia, está de oyente, ¿verdad? Eh, Marcela. Ernesto. Teacher. Thank you, Mario. Hi, teacher. Present. Good. Eh, Marlon. Present. Thank you. Maybe. Otmar, ya le puse asistencia como oyente. Saúl. Oh, good. Tell me when you get home. Tell me when okay. you get home. Okay, Thank good. Jansi. Present. Thank you very much. Good. Now let's go to this and the use of frequency other, right? The use of frequency other. Listen to the audio. Page 61, exercise 6, conversation. Fish for breakfast? Can you hear? Can you hear? Yes? ¿Se escucha el audio? Entrecortado, yes. teacher. Mm -hmm. teacher. Okay, good. Now, listen, please. Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Again, listen. Breakfast together on Sunday. Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Good. So where do you think is Kumiko from? Where is she from? Japan. She is from Japan. Yeah, probably. Probably Kumiko is from Japan. What about Sara? Where is Sara from? Sara is from Kuhukuyo, right? Okay, very good. Now, notice that they are using here frequency adverbs. Always. Usually. Sometimes. Always again. And finally, never, right? Good. Now, notice that we have to identify the subject in every sentence. In the sentence, my family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. What is the subject? Family. My family, good. And what is the verb? What is the action? Has. Has. In this case, because it's a group, my family is not only one member. There are many members, the, the mother, the father, the uncle, the son, the grandmother, many members, but like a group is considered third person singular, right? Like you say Real Madrid, Barcelona. You don't say Barcelona are, you say Barcelona is. Or Real Madrid are, no. Real Madrid, Real Madrid sorry is because uh, is considered like a singular right singular like an entity so you say my family has no my family have no my family has 
Now, between my family and has, what do we have? What do we have? Between my family and has, what do you have? Always. Always. Always, correct, right? Always is a frequency adverb. And you say, what is this used for? Para que sirve? What is this used for? It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Only is showing, is demonstrating the frequency. The frequency of the action only. Always is. All the time, right? Now, we usually have fish. Rice and soup. What is the subject in we usually have fish? We. Oui. We. Oui. Oui. What, what is the verb? Have. 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 Correct. And what is the frequency adverb? Usually. Usually. Correct. Right. And usually. Is between the subject and the verb, right? Okay, good. Now, next one. Sometimes we have a salad. What is the subject? We. Oui. We. Oui. And what is the verb? Have. Good. Now. Sometimes is the exception of the rule, right? You say, siempre hay un pelo en la sopa, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the exception of the rule. So we can say, sometimes we have a salad, or we can say, we sometimes have a salad. So you can change the position of sometimes. You can say sometimes at the beginning, sometimes we have, or you can say sometime between we and have. So we say, we sometimes have, right? The two are correct. The two sentences are correct. Good. And the last one, please. I never eat fish. What is the subject? I never eat fish. I. I. And what is the verb? Eat. Faje. <laughs> Julia, right? Eat. That's correct. So between I and eat... What do you have? Never. Never. And never is a frequency other, right? Okay, let's practice the conversation. Listen and repeat. Please listen and repeat. Page 60. Let's have breakfast together on... Okay, ready? Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. Repeat. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Again, come on, repeat us to me. Come on. Energy, energy, repeat us to me. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. 
come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. 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 Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Okay, good. Last, last time. Listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. Repeat, repeat. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Okay, good. Now let's practice together, right? Uh, let me see. Good. We have Ana Maria and Claudia, right? Ana Maria, you are Sara. And Claudia, you're Kumiko. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Miss Orellana Orantes. Oh. Estaba pronunciando y no le había encendido el micrófono. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, I understand. Today is Friday. We understand. You need okay. Claudia, you need the coffee and the semita. For today is ¿Cómo, cómo? You need the coffee and the semita. Today, because it's Friday. <laughs> okay, Cla Claudia, come on, go ahead. Repeat. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually 
have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Now, Chris, you are Sara. And Dagoberto, you are Kumiko. Ohio Kusaimas. Dagoberto San. Okay. Teacher, oy oyente, sorry. Ah, Chris. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay, give me a second. Good. Uh, so, Dagoberto and Dagoberto and Griselda. Okay. Dagoberto, you're Sara and Griselda, you're Kumiko. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That is interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Now, Josue, please. Josue, you are Sara. And Ernesto, you are Kumiko. Are you ready, guys? Ladies and ready. gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we present Josue and Ernesto. Action! Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That is tasty. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never ate fish for breakfast, breakfast but I like to try new things. Okie dokie, I like to try new things, right? Thank you. Now, Mario, can you help me, Mario? You're going to be Sara. And... And Jancy. Wait a minute. Yes, Jancy, right? Because Saul is oyente, right? Okay. Mario and Jancy. Mario, you're Sara. Jancy, you are Kumiko. Ohio Kosaina, Jancy San. Sayonara. Sayonara. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has um, Japanese Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We we ay no sé pronunciar eso we we usually Us, you usually 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 I have fish rice and soap fish for breakfast that's interesting Um, some I 
Sometimes we have in salad too. And we are always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Good. Thank you very much. Fish, rice, and soup, right? Soap, no, right? Soap, no, because soap is jabón. Soap, jabón, right? And soup is sopita. Sopita de frijoles, de pata, de tortilla, right? Etc. etc. Soup. Because you don't say, me gusta comer pescado, arroz y jabón. No, no, right? Burbujita, no, no, no. Soup. Jancy, again, please. Soup. Soup. Excellent. Thank you, Jancy. Thank you very much. And thank you, Mario. Good conversation. I like it. I like it. Now let's go to the grammar. Frequency adverbs. Or adverbs of frequency. It's the same, right? Listen, please. Page 61, exercise 7. Grammar focus. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Okay. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Okay, notice that sometimes can be used between the subject and the verb. It can be used at the beginning. So you say, I sometimes eat or sometimes I eat. It's only the exception, right? And rarely is similar to say hardly ever. Casi nunca o raramente. Right? Hardly ever or rarely. Yes. Now repeat after me. Repeat after me. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Good. Questions? Questions, questions? Now let's continue. Put the arbors in the correct place in the correct places, then practice with a partner, right? Okay, number one is letter A. What do you usually have for breakfast, right? Letter B. Well, I have coffee and cereal. Can you insert, insert often in the sentence, please? This is for Ana Maria. Ana Maria, help me, please. Well, I have coffee and cereal. I often 
Uh-huh. I open. Have coffee and cereal. Okie dokie, right? I often have coffee and cereal. It's correct. Cereal, right? Talking about cereal, how do you say cereal in Spanish? Cereal. Conflict. No, no, no. Wait, wait a minute, Mario. Excuse me, Mario. Look at this. Corn. Flakes. Right? Is maíz aplastado o hojuelas o, o, o maíz flakes is flakes corn flakes corn flakes right good and I have a question for the class tengo una pregunta para la clase eh, ¿por qué está triste Kellows? ¿Por qué está ya lo había oído en mis hijos pero me olvidó ah Ah, lo... porque chocó crispy. Porque chocó crispy, <risa> yeah, chocó crispy. <risa> eh, ¿Y en dónde se golpeó? En su carita. Yes, okay, good. So, do you, do you, well, I, I say, I often eat, I often, sorry, have coffee and cereal, and kellos, right? Cornflakes, cornflakes. <risa> okay. Then the next one, please. Um, Dagoberto, please. Do you eat breakfast at work? Do you eat breakfast at work? I think. Do you ever? Very good. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Good. And then he says, I have breakfast at my desk. I have this uh, breakfast at my desk. Mm -hmm. So can you help me with this? Mm. Uh, Griselda, please. I have breakfast. Pardon. I have some time breakfast at my desk. I have sometimes or I sometimes have, Griselda. De las dos formas. Sorry? I sometimes have breakfast. Good, excellent. Excellent. And also, Griselda, you can say sometimes I have breakfast. No, no problem. So you can say I sometimes have or sometimes I have. Only with sometimes is the exception of the rule, right? Understand? Only with sometimes. Good. Thank you. Now, uh, Josue, please. Do you uh, eat rice for breakfast? Seria, do you usually eat rice for breakfast? Correct, right? And letter B. No. I have rice. No, I have rice. Mario, please. No, Mario Ernesto, excuse me. Ernesto. No, I ever. No, I ever. High have rice. rice. But in this case, hardly ever say. No. Ah, uh, no. Eh, ver. No, I hardly ever. Have. Ha hardly ever. I have. How? Uh huh. Okay. No, I, I, I have hardly ever raised. No, no, no. Okay. Wait a minute. No, no. I, I hardly ever have raised. Okay. No, I have. No, I have. See? No, no, no. no. I have. No, I hardly ever. No, I have. I hardly ever uh -huh. have rice. Have rice. Okay. okay, very good. Again, Ernesto. No, I hardly ever have rice. You see? No, I hardly ever have rice. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Now, Mario, I need you to help me with this conversation, Mario. And Jancy again, please. 
Mario and Yancy. Mario, your letter A. And Yancy, your letter B, right? Using the frequency of the ready. One, two, three, action. What do you usually have for breakfast? Yancy? We. Oui. I have coffee and cereal. I often have. Often have. Jancy, I often have. I often have. Uh -huh. Coffee. Coffee in cereal. Cereal. Mario. Do you do you ever eat breakfast at work? I have, I have breakfast. I, I sometimes have. I sometimes I. Um, I sometimes have. I sometimes have at my desk. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. <laughs> Es que me cuesta pronunciarlo. No, I know, I know. That's the idea. Pero esa es la idea. Sí. Que nos cueste y que luego ya de tanto practicar ya se nos queda, ¿verdad? Tranquilita, no se preocupe. Aquí tenemos tiempo para todos. Come on. I sometimes have breakfast. I sometimes have breakfast. Ajá. Uh -huh. At my. At my. Yeah. At my Next. yes, good, thank you, Mario. Uh, do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No, I have rice. No, I hardly ever. I, I hardly ever, hardly ever have rice. Hi, hi, rice. Okay, okay. Have <laughs> right, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Yancy. Thank you, Mario. So this is the conversation, right? Oh, I have a message here. Good. Uh, Glenda. Yes, yes. Thank you, Glenda. Ya está participando, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now. Uh, we have these sentences, class. And they are in disorder. 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 Okay. Good. Number one. I never have breakfast on weekends. Number two, please. What is number two? Number three and number four, right? Please complete. Hardly ever. Copy, eat. copy, copy, copy. Oh, okay. Copy, copy. Remember, the structure is subject, other of frequency. And verb, right?
Okay, ready? Okay, let's go to number one, right? Number one, <clears throat> volunteers, number one. Volunteers, please, volunteers. Number, number two. Hey. Number two, yes. I have you ever. I have ever. Okay, uh, I have two, right? Eh, vamos a dejar a la chica en la dos y al chico en la tres, right? Yes? Okay, good. I Har hardly ever. I hardly ever. Eat a snack. Eat snacks. At work. At work. Nunca anda comiendo churritos en el trabajo. Never. Okay, thank you. Now the boy, please. Number three. Number three, I, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Good. And number four, please. Volunteers, number four. I, I often, often uh, I often, Sorry. I often <laughs> dinner with my family. Hmm. But we miss something, right? Creo have, que have le falta. Falta el verbo, ¿verdad? Ah, el verbo, sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Glenda. I often eat, eat, eat. dinner. You eat, can say dinner. eat or you can say have, right? Okay. But never say take. I take dinner. No, never. I take dinner. <laughs> no, never. Okay. Thank you, Glenda. Thank you, everybody, for, for your answers. Now, repeat after me, please. Re repeat after me. I never have breakfast on weekends. Weekends is Saturday and Sunday, right? Good. Repeat, please. Number two. I hardly ever eat snacks at work. I, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. I often have dinner with my family. Okay, now let's make it personal, right? Personal, personal information, right? Now, in your case, what is your truth? For example, you say, I never eat, have breakfast on weekends. In the case of the teacher, me, the teacher, I always, I always have breakfast on weekends. Me, the teacher. Saturday, breakfast all the time. Sunday, breakfast all the time. All the time. So I say, I always have breakfast in my case. What about you? What about you, Ernesto? What about you, Glenda? What about you, Josue? What about you, Griselda? What is your personal information? Y antes que se me retire Jorge y Dagoberto, me van a participar la última vez. Yes? Jorge? Okay, you begin. Okay. Uh, make it personal, please. The four sentences. Only change the frequency adverb. I will make this question in, in Spanish. Eh, Siempre desayuna los fines de semana o nunca o algunas veces. O sea, okay. Something personal, Jorge.
Do you understand? Well, the idea is that you're going to substitute the frequency adverb for your personal information, right? But, pero, but uh, every day or on weekend? No, I need you to use uh, always, usually, often, sometimes, never, hardly ever. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But, but okay. personal, because in the sentence, sí. never, right? Sí. In the case of the teacher, I always have breakfast on weekend. Me, I don't know you, okay. but I don't know you. Okay, okay. I understand. Uh, I I sometimes have a breakfast on weekends. On weekend every day. No, no, but the, the question is on weekend. On oh, out the weekend. Ah, uh, so? no, I never have breakfast on the weekend. Bad, bad, mal hecho, George. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Number two. Number two. Jorge? Uh, I sometimes ever eat a snack at the work. So I sometimes eat. Eat. Repeat, I sometimes eat. I sometimes eat a snack at, at work. Three. Mm, I usually eat pasta for dinner. Four. Um... I never have dinner with my family. Ah, you see, lo más regañar, George. <laughs> Hoy sí. Okay. La cena con la familia es lo más importante que hay en la vida. <laughs> good, good. No, no, come on, Jorge. I'm kidding, right? Ya se puede retirar tranquilamente, pero si puede seguir, con gusto, siga aquí con nosotros. Lo que puedo hacer, eh, como estoy con los audífonos, Voy a quitar los audífonos y voy a estar como escucha, eh, como oyente, porque mm. tengo que hacer un montón para preparar mis cosas. Ok, good, good, good. Continue, okay. continue. Bueno, Dagoberto, gracias. please. No, thank you. Thank you for your participation, Jorge. Eh, Dagoberto. Sí. Can you make the same as, as Jorge, please? Personal information. One, two, three, and four. I usually go to play. Oh, no, number one, number one. I never have breakfast on weekends. Oh. But uh -huh. in your case, never, sometimes, always, or usually. I always have breakfast on, on weekends. Congratulations, Dagoberto. Yes, that's it. It's important, the breakfast. Continue, Dago. I usually eat snacks at work okay very good continue i sometimes play video games ah okay but what about pasta how frequently ah. do you eat pasta for dinner dagoberto uh, sometimes, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Ah, good. That's it, right? And have dinner with your family? Yes, I have. Okay, I, I, I always have dinner with my family. Congratulations. Eh, me le pasa esta información a Jorge, por favor, oiga, porque él no... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Igual, voy a estar como oyente. Okay, good. Porque también tengo que mandar... Preparar, un... yes. I know, I know. Es que, Jorge solo al Burger bueno. King se va a cenar, así que regañe lo que vaya a comer con la familia, dígale. <risa> okay. Okay. Thank you, Dagoberto. Thank you very okay, much. Teacher. Uh, have a nice weekend, you and, and Jorge. Ok, now, okay. Eh, let me see. Ana María. What about you, Ana María? Personal information, please. I usually have breakfast in weekends. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, sometimes it's, it's not a word. 
Tukis. I never eat. Ana Maria, Tukis. Tukis. <laughs> snacks, snacks, right? Continue. <laughs> I never eat pasta for dinner. Oh, okay. No spaghetti, no lasagna, no, no pizza, no, no pasta, right? No. Okay. I always have dinner with my family. Excellent. Excellent. It's important for the family, right? Now, please. Um, ya nos quedamos sin participantes. Okay. Eh, Jose, please. We finish with Jose. Personal information, Jose. I always breakfast on weekends. I always have. I always have breakfast on weekends. Thank you. Good. Continue. I always eat snacks at the work. Okay, very good. I hardly ever ate pasta for dinner. Nice. I sometimes have dinner with my family. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Mr. Castillo. Gaitan, thank you very much. Now, uh, any question? How about the use of simple present and frequency adverb? Chicos, no, no, ¿hay alguna pregunta todavía de cómo usar los adverbios de frecuencia? No? Okay. Now we are going to see another information. Let me see. What is the page? Page 61 is this. Mm -hmm. Page 40 is. We are going to practice listening. Listening, please. Okay, listen to Marsha talk about her weekly routine, right? She's going to say always, sometimes, etc., etc. She's going to use frequency adverbs. And then we are going to check together when does she get up early? Cuando se levanta temprano, right? When does she go to work? When does she exercise? When does she see friends? When does she see her family? And when does she study, right? Okay, listen to the audio, please. Page 40, exercise 8. Listening. Marsha's weekly routine. Listen to Marsha talk about her weekly routine. Check the days she does each thing. Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work, so I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. Second time, listen, please. 
early on. Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around seven o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Okay, I'm sorry for the interruption. Eh, Todos pueden escuchar el audio. Sí, sí, sí. Oye, voy a subirle un poquito más. Lo voy a subir un poquito más. Sorry. Pero creo que hasta ahí llega el volumen. Ya no le puedo dar más. ¿Ya? Vamos a ver. Creo que la red. Do you get up early every day, Marsha? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays. So I get up around seven o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. So I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. Okay. Griselda, is it better? No. Nada, nada, no, 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 no escucha nada. O, o se oye bien no, suave. No, no, ni suavecito nada. No se siente bien. Nada se oye. Ok, let me see. Vamos a ver si hacemos otra cosita aquí. Déjeme ver. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. And now, Griselda, ¿y ahora? I go to school from Monday. Griselda? Sí. Hoy sí se ve mejor. Un poco entre contados, pero sí. Ok, sorry. Sorry, vamos a ponerlo una vez más. Ok, trate de lo que alcance a pescar ahí, ok. Do you get up early every day, Marsha? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays. So I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? I mean, do you exercise during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. So I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. Okay, very good. Uh, Jancy. Me hace el favor de decirle a, a, a Claudia que ahí en el WhatsApp está el link para que entre otra vez a la clase. Please. Ya entré, profe, ya entré. Ah, ok. Estoy acá. Okay. Sí, a ratitos era eso, pero sí, al final tanto pudo otra vez. Ok, qué bueno, qué bueno. Así me gusta, que insistan, que insistan, ok. Good, now let's, let's continue, right? Eh, no escuchó el audio, ¿verdad, Claudia? Eh, sí, ahorita estaba escribiendo. Ah, ok. Más o menos lo que alcanzaba a entenderle. Ok, very good, very good. Bueno, vamos a ver. Uh, good. The last time. Entonces, escuchémoslo una vez más. <ríe> Espero que no me vayan a aburrir. La última vez. Okay. Page 40. 
Do you get up early every day, Marcia? Well, no. I only get up early on weekdays and on Saturdays. Okay. Now, when does Marcia get up early? Weekdays and Saturdays. Weekdays, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, right? Okay, good. Now, continue. Wait a minute. I go to school from Monday to Friday, and I work on Saturdays, so I get up around 7 o'clock. Okay, when does she go to work? Saturday. Saturday is correct. Saturday. Good. Now, exercise. Listen to exercise. Saturdays. So, I get up around 7 o'clock. How about on Sundays? On Sundays? Then I sleep late. What else do you do? It doesn't I mean, sound do you exercise people. during the week? Yes, but not every day. I swim three times a week, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Oh, and I also play tennis on Saturdays after work. Okay, so when does she exercise? Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and Saturday. Saturday, Saturday, correct. No, está fallando un poquito la internet. Se oye entrecortado, ¿verdad? Este... Se oye entrecortado. Sí, es que ahorita me está fallando un poquito. Espero que ya se, se, se recupere el internet. Bueno, sigamos, intentémoslo, intentémoslo. Yes. When does she see her friends? Listen, please. So, I exercise four days a week. What about the rest of the weekend? When do you see your friends and family? When do you see your friends and family? Let's see. I see friends on Fridays and Saturdays, and that's in the evening. And I visit my family on Sundays. Uh-huh. When does she see her friends? Sundays. Sundays and... Friday and Saturday. Okay, Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. On Sunday. The, 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 uh, I mean, sorry, give me a second. The friend, right? The friends and the Friday and Saturday. And her family? Sunday. 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 Good. What about study? Listen to study. Every day. Every day. When do you study? Every day. Wow, you're really busy. She's really busy, right? So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Si hubiera un día más también, estudiaré día. Okay, good. Any question, class? So let's continue, right? Let's continue. Now we are going to start with the presentation of today. Yes. The presentation of today. And then later we're going to go to the platform, right? Luego nos vamos a ir a la plataforma. Porque este día vamos a terminar todos la unidad 2. Todos tenemos que terminar la unidad 2 para ahora. Okay? Yes? Okay. Okidoki. Okay. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Inglés Corporativo, right? This class is class number nine. And today is November 10th. 10 de noviembre. Rápido nos metió gol en noviembre. Ya estamos a 10. Okay, now, vocabulary practice and daily routine. So we continue, continue with vocabulary and, and daily routine. Ask partners questions about someone else's daily routines and say what they do and don't, right? El mismo objetivo. Now let's practice the days of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Only Yancy, please. Only you. Yancy, ready? Come on, do it. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Saturday. Sunday. Friday. Yeah, see. Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Sunday. Sunday. No, Saturday. <laughs> Friday, Saturday. Friday, but let's see. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. 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 Yeah. And say Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Yancy. Now, uh, can you help me, please, Mario? Read again, Mario. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday. Very good. Thank you very much. Right? These are the days of the week. What day is today, Claudia? What day is today? Today is Monday, Claudia, or no? Hola, hola. What day is today? What day is today? Today is Wednesday? No. No entiendo muy bien ahorita. Okay, what day is today? ¿Qué día es ahora? What day is today? Ah, uh, Friday. Okay, okay. Good. And Ernesto, what day is tomorrow? Uh, Saturday. Good, thank you, thank you. Mario, what day was yesterday? Yes, yesterday was... Thursday. Thursday. Correct, right? Now, let's continue practice. The month of the year. Month of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. January. February. March. April. May. June. July, 
אוגוסט. ספטמבר. אוקטובר. נובמבר. דיסמבר. Again, repeat after me, please. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, right? Good. Now, only Ernesto, please. Only you. Ernesto, ready? Come on. Ready? Okay. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, right? Now, can you help me? Can you help me, Ana Maria? Only you. Only you. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Good. Glenda, please. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, October, November, December. Good. Say May, 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 June. Oh. Okay. July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Right. Now questions. What month is your birthday? Claudia, when is your birthday? In January, February, March? When is your birthday, Claudia? January. In January, okay. What about you, Ana Maria? When is your birthday? January. January too? Ana Maria? January. No. No, no. July. July, July, okay, July. Uh, so the dun 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 dun. No, no, sorry. Excuse me. Da 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 da. So it's for Claudia in January, and for uh, for Ana Maria, it's in 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 July, in July. Okay, good. What about you, Glenda? When is your birthday? August. In August. Ah, mm -hmm. sí. In August. Mm -hmm. In August. Good. What about you, Griselda? When is your birthday? When are you tiernita? March. In March. Okay. March. Okay. March. Thank you very much. Now, Josue, what about you? When is your birthday, Josue? In January. In January. Oh. Similar like Claudia, right? Nice. Good. What about you, mm, Ernesto? When is your birthday? My birthday is June. In June? Your birthday yes. In June. Thank you. Mario? In February, teacher. February. Romantic boy. Okay. Now, Jancy? May. May, the flower, the month of the flowers. Yes. And this day, it's... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, no, sorry. This is get married. Es casarse. No, no. It, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, John C. So, with a big K, right? And, and piñata, piñata. And horchata too, right? Okay. Now, the story of the month are this, right? Before 
eh, there were only 10 months. Al principio solo había 10 meses, you know, 10 months. Y por eso es que algunos se quedaron con los 10 meses. Miren, septiembre es 7, octubre es 8, noviembre es 9, y diciembre es 10. El septiembre es 7, el séptimo mes era antes, o ya no, ya no. Octo de 8, 9 de 9 y 10 de, de, de 10, ¿no? ¿Sí? Además, el mes de julio se llama así en honor a Julio César, el emperador romano. Y digo, le voy a poner un nombre a un, mi nombre a uno de los meses para ser eterno, Julio. No es en honor a Julio Iglesias, no, no se confunda, no. Es Julio César, el emperador romano. Después murió y vino otro que se llamaba César Augusto. No, hombre, dijo, ¿qué le puso nombre? Yo también le voy a poner un Augusto. Y así que, por eso se llama, se llama August, ¿verdad? De Augusto. Es la historia de los meses. Ok, let's continue, let's continue. So, here we have the numbers, ladies and gentlemen, the numbers. So, listen, pay attention. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, calcetín, no, sorry, excuse me, twenty, twenty-one, 22, 30, 31, 32, 33, etc. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 1,000, 1,000, 2,000, 2,000, etc., etc., right? Now, notice that here we have the 13, right? So the teenagers, the teen. Teen, right? ¿Cómo decimos adolescente en inglés? The teen, teenagers. Quiero ver cuántos andan aquí de, de quinceañeros. Hay varios aquí. Griselda, la veo bien cipota, así que. Teen, right? <laughs> A Mario también lo va bien. Okay. 15 por 3, teacher. Ah, ok, good, excellent. Le gano, le gano yo. Ok. Eh, let me see. 16. No sé por qué no me quiere escribir aquí, permítame. Teen. Teen and teen, right? So, these are the, the teen, the teenager, right? Adolescentes. Eh, los que tienen de 13 a 19 años, son adolescentes, ¿ok? Y en inglés decimos teenager, así decimos, miren, teenager. Teenager, teenager, adolescente, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Por eso aquel famoso anuncio de, joven, si tú tienes entre 18 y 20 años, tienes 19. ¿Ok? Good, now. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, with F, F, twelve, Thirteen, fourteen, 
15. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Or you can say twenty. Twenty or twenty. Twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, etc. 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, let's practice, please. Let's practice. How much is thirty five? Mm. Okay, here. 35 plus 60. How much is 35 plus 60? 95. 95. 95. Okay. 95. Good. How much is 7 times 7? Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Forty-nine, correct. How much is ninety-three minus eighty-nine? Four. Four. Yes. Okay. How much is Zero times two hundred. Zero. 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 Right. Oh, we have good mat mat mathematicians. Mathematician. Yes. Buenos matemáticos tenemos aquí. Yes, it's nice. Very good. Now, let's continue. Uh, before 10 to 10, we're going to go to the to the platform, right? 10 para las 10, nos vamos a ir a la plataforma, yes? Okay. Solo regáleme un segundito, voy a, porque la tengo cerrada ahorita la plataforma, voy a, la voy a abrir antes que otra cosa pase, yes. Okay. Here I am. Plataforma. Okay, ahí estamos ya. Now let's continue, right? Let's continue. Now the time. How to say the time in English? Listen. It's one o'clock. You can also say it's two o'clock, it's three o'clock, etc., etc. Is one oh six the zero when you say time you can say oh right oh instead of say one zero six zero six you don't say zero six but you say oh six right or you can say six after one say minuto después de la una right six after one is one fifteen or it's a quarter. It's a quarter after one, right? Uno pasado. Quince pasado de la una. Ah, correct. Un cuarto. Un cuarto, right? 
Okay. Good. Is one thirty o half la mitad quiere decir half half right it half past one right good uh, then we say is one forty one forty right la uni cuarenta o is twenty minutes to two veinte para las dos that's okay totally correct is 1.45 or is a quarter to two? It's a quarter to two, right? That's it. Now, repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. It's one o'clock. It's 1.06. It's six after one. Is one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. Is one thirty. Is half past one. Is one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. Okay, questions? Okay, let's continue, right? Now, daily routines at home. Review, right? This is the activity we do every day, every day. Get dressed. Sorry, get up, get dressed. Take a shower, brush my teeth, comb my hair, shave, put on makeup, Eat breakfast, come home, make dinner, study, watch TV, and go to bed, right? Three times routines, exercise, up and down, up and down, right? Listen to music, play football, go out for dinner, go dancing, take a nap. <sighs> take a nap is like tomar una siesta, right? Read. Check media, go to the movies and visit friends. Y algo que no nos gusta es los quehaceres domésticos. Wash the dishes, clean the house, do the laundry, take out the garbage, go shopping, dust, dust, sorry, sweep and mop. Good. Y aquí tenemos nuevamente los adverbios de frecuencia, right? Adverbs of frequency. I always wash, she usually cleans, he often does, they sometimes take out the garbage, we rarely go shopping, you never dust, okay, good, y aquí tenemos otras expresiones chicos que se usan uh, para demostrar la frecuencia pero que se ponen al final. Se ponen al final. Right? So, I exercise every day. Esto es algo así como yo hago ejercicio todos los días, right? O yo, I always exercise. Es, es parecido. ¿no? I always. You listen to music once a day. Una vez al día. Once a day. I play football twice a week. Dos veces por semana. Twice a week. She goes out for dinner three times a month. Three times a month. Okay. She goes dancing on Saturdays. She takes a nap once a day. Una vez al día se toma su siestecita. Siempre bueno. Uh, en Japón, 
hay un salón especial en las compañías donde los trabajadores pueden ir a dormir un ratito, ¿verdad? Aquí en El Sabor, si usted duerme un ratito, pues ya al siguiente día le están dando el cheque de despedida. <risa> ok. <risa> ok. Pero es, la cultura es diferente, ¿no? Ok. Um, my sister reads once a month. I go to the movies every Sunday and I visit friends every weekend. Right? Oh, I have a message here. Tenemos un mensajito. Vamos a ver qué nos dice. Oh, okay, Claudia. It's okay. Okay. No problem, Claudia. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. I exercise every day. You listen to music once a day. I play football twice a week. She goes out for dinner three times a month. She goes dancing on Saturdays. She takes a nap once a day. My sister reads once a month. I go to the movies every Sunday. I visit friends every weekend. Okay, class, you see? Uh, notice that this expression show frequency. Estas expresiones también nos enseñan frecuencia, solo que van al final de la oración. It goes at the end of the sentence, right? Okay, that's it. Terminamos entonces. So, let's go to the platform. Vamos a la plataforma. Ok, vamos a repasar las tareas que tenemos que hacer, right? Section 2, unit number 2, right? Remember that on Monday we have an exam, right? Para el día lunes tenemos un examen de medio curso. Ahí está en la plataforma, aquí está, miren. Pero lo vamos a hacer junto en clase, ok? Good, de momento vamos a las seis tareas de la unidad 2, que tienen que estar completas para esta noche. Tarea 6. Ajá, la famosa tarea que le costó a Mario, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, este ejercicio ya lo hicimos en clase. Pueden ustedes hacerlo por su cuenta. Y repito lo que dijo en una clase Jorge, Jorge Orellana, dijo esto. Que para que no les cueste a ustedes, deben identificar cuál es el sujeto y el verbo, ¿sí? Entonces pues aquí ya identificamos cuál es el sujeto y el verbo y de ahí solo ponemos el complemento. I sleep at night. Yo duermo en la noche. Yes. Good. Hay algo curioso, teacher, de que, por ejemplo, yo lo había re, este, le había dado respuesta, pero por el punto no me, no ah. me lo marcaba. Como... <risa> Mira, ahí le puse yo punto. Entonces le doy a enviar y dice, ¡Tarán! Correct. Sí. Correct, right. Bueno, pero logró al fin terminarlo todo, José. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Ah, okay, good. Teacher. No me le voy a dar copia a nadie, oiga, José. Ahí, por ahí estaba Mario pidiendo copia, pero no, no me le voy a dar, por favor. <risa> Ajá. A mí lo que me pasó también es que a veces daba como un espacio más cuando iba escribiendo sí. y me la ponía errónea. Se ponía nerviosa y le daba espacio. <risa> ok, pero lo terminó, Glenda. Sí, sí, lo terminé. Ah, excelentoso. <risa> Alguien que no lo haya terminado y que tenga dudas por qué le, salga, le sale malo. Yo, teacher, porque en la indicación dice que hay que ordenar las palabras. Y yo la, ordenaba la oración según la cantidad de palabras, pero estoy viendo que no es así. Aún no, no entiendo muy bien. Pero, eh, ¿logró terminar este ejercicio, Marlon? O, o... No, salieron malas porque yo las ordené. Según cómo están, o sea, por ejemplo, uh -huh. uh, I sleep 
at night. Ajá, pero está bien. Solo quizá, sí, pero no está bien. quizá le falta el punto, eh, Marlon. Le puso punto al final. ¿Cómo? Le puso un punto al final. Ah, no, no le puse punto al final. Ajá. Ahí. Hola, Nina. Hola, Roberto. Póngale punto y vuelvan a intentar. Y luego me dice. Ok, voy a salir. O ¿Cómo puedo hacer ahorita para revisar? Más tarde, no se preocupe. ¿no? Más tarde. Bueno, ok, ya sé cuál es el problema entonces. El punto. El problema es la economía mundial. <risa> no, el problema es el punto a veces, ¿sí? o, o un espacio que dejamos, ¿verdad? O escribimos con minúscula. ¿Sí? Muy bien. Eh, entonces, ¿todos terminaron esta? ¿O quieren que les dé copia en la dos? Ajá, ya dijeron que sí, ¿verdad? No, no, señores, no puedo dar copia. <ríe> ok. Tarea siete. Uh, bueno, antes de seguir con la tarea siete, eh, Griselda se puede quedar diez minutos extra. Ok. Yes, ok, thank you, Griselda. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Ahí estamos. Ok, here is simple, right? Only one option. Do you like music? Yes, I. Yes, I do. Or yes, I does. No me respondan, es una pregunta retórica. Yes. Yes, I do. Or yes, I does. Tenemos que aprender los, el auxiliar. Sí, sí. I do, you do, we do, they do. She does, he does, it does. You know? El do y el das. ¿Cuándo usarlo? Yes. Solo lo vamos a usar en negativas y en preguntas. En negativas y preguntas. En las oraciones afirmativas, no. Ok, otra pregunta. Does Sara know English? No, she doesn't. O no, she does. Ok. Por aquí tenemos visitante nuevamente. Does Polar know English? No. No, he doesn't. He doesn't like. No, he, he's always in my class. Él siempre viene, viene a poner aquí abajito para escuchar la clase. To sleep, teacher, to sleep. <laughs> ok. Good. Now, number three. Do you and Wendell, you and Wendell, play the guitar? Yes, we do, o yes, they do. Miren, ustedes están incluidos aquí, de you. ¿Cuál de las dos es? Yes. Does Roberto work in a bank? No. He does or no, he does. Y finalmente, do Laura and Sally. It's plural, right? Yes, you do, or you, yes, they do. En mi opinión, esta está fácil, ¿verdad? Y inclusive si se equivocan, la, la, la plataforma les da chance de volverlo a hacer, ¿verdad? Ok, tarea 8. 8. What do you do in the morning? Ah, y aquí ya practicamos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hacemos en la mañana? Take a shower, se bañan. ¿Comen el almuerzo o preparan la cena? En mi caso, yo casi siempre desayuno en la noche porque más fácil. <ríe> no, broma. Ok, in the morning, right? ¿Qué hacemos en la mañana? I go to the park. ¿Cuándo van al, al parque? ¿A la, la noche, a medianoche o en la mañana? Do you go to the... Ahí, es, ahí puede ser en cualquier momento, pero... Bueno, yo en esa me equivoqué y hasta que me dio correcto. Marlon, la... Pero mire, lo, <risa> si usted va a la medianoche, lo van a asustar ahí, Marlon. No, pero es que dice, bueno, la noche no dice medianoche. No, aquí ah, dice bueno, midnight, dice la sí, medianoche. Sí, sí. Pero se puede ir, se puede ir. No, no, de poder <risa> se puede, pero... <risa> no se debe. Yo, yo puedo ir al cementerio en la medianoche, pero... <risa> Lo van a asustar. <risa> No, hay, hay Necro Tours, eh, Mario. En la noche. Yes, teacher. En sí, el, 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 el de Cementerio de San Salvador. Sí, en el de Santa Tecla también hay Necro Tours. Normalmente se puede ir al parque en la noche o en la, en la mañana. Pero normalmente es en el, en el día que vamos. Va ahí usted 
Okay. <laughs> okay, do you go to work every day? Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Or yes, yes, do. Uh, una de las cosas que les recomendé yo es no mezclar el verbo to be con el presente simple. ¿verdad? Entonces aquí ustedes deben separar el verbo to be con el presente simple. ¿Cuál es la auxiliar del presente simple? Do y does. Do does, right? Bueno, creo que este está un poco fácil. Solo es de ir poniendo. Es porque ya, ya nos arro la noche. Solo. Ya, ya viene la medianoche ahorita. Ya es hora que Marlon salga al, al <risa> Son bromas, mal. Vuelta. Estamos molestando, Marlon, disculpe. Vaya, aquí es un dibujo, ¿no? Son cuatro dibujitos. A Chris creo que no le había dado completo porque no estaban, no había extendido los cuatro dibujos, ¿no? Entonces, en la uno, ¿qué está haciendo? Takes a shower, wakes up, o shaves. Vean que se le agrega una S al verbo, ¿verdad? En la dos, ¿qué está haciendo? Brushes his teeth, takes a, a shower, o shaves. cuatro dibujitos para que se saquen diez. Y la última tarea. I go to work, I goes to work, o I am to work. Creo que si hemos estado en las clases, hemos participado, creo que esto está fácil regalado. Y aquí tenemos adverbios de frecuencia, miren. I usually. I usually drives. I usually driving or I usually drive. I always, I don't always, I have lunch at 12.30, I has lunch, or I am lunch, I am lunch, <laughs> soy almuerzo, <laughs> okay, class, any question, no question, good, aquí tengo un mensaje, Excelentoso, Marlon. Sí se puede, sí se puede. Okay. El error era el punto y en una oración había puesto una S de más. Ay. Ajá. Hombre, que para eso, cuando usted ponga a hacer ejercicio con su cafecito y su semita a la mano ahí, tranquilo, y a ver que le va a funcionar. ¿Verdad? <risa> okay, no, teacher, también, disculpa porque no he podido estar participando en la clase, he tenido una migraña muy fuerte no, yo entiendo, pero también cafecito y se emite la solución para todos no, a menos a mí el café me, me, me hace daño incluso la, para la, la migraña, la, migraña eh, eh, la azúcar es mala para la, la migraña ¿verdad? ya en serio sí, gracia, estoy <risa> pero en la vida real sí, no, no, no tome azúcar bueno, ok, claro. Okay, I hope you have a nice weekend. Ya les tomé la asistencia. Eh, have a nice weekend. I hope to see you on Monday. No me falte el lunes porque vamos a hacer un examen. Solo me quedo con Griselda. And the rest of you, have a good night. Have bye a good, bye. Night. good night, teacher. Bye, bye, bye. God bless. Have a good weekend. Good night. Good night. Bye. Have a nice weekend, teacher. You too. God bless you, bye. Mario. Bye, bye. Bye, bye teacher. Bye, Jancy. Bye. bye. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye, teacher. Do you have a, a good day you tomorrow? Too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marlon. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye, Jancy. Bye, Ernesto. Brian. Goodbye. See you on Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay, Griselda. Any question about the class? ¿Hay algún punto que no le haya quedado claro, Griselda? ¿Algo que quisiera que repasáramos estos 10 minutos? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> no, el verbo to be. ¿Le, ¿Le quedó claro el uso del verbo to be? ¿O hay algo? Yes, sí está claro. Ok, <laughs> me gusta, me agrada. Y el presente simple, Griselda. Hay algo ahí que no le haya quedado claro cuando usa los auxiliares, cuando es pregunta, cuando es negativo. No. No, más no. Que todo, más que todo con los. ¿Cómo se llama? Los adverbios. Los adverbios. Eso me confunde un poco, pero sí ya. 
Va, lo, vimos las bebios de frecuencia. Es, es, ah, ok. ¿Le, ¿Le costaron o...? No, solo me confundí un poco con el de Sometimes, como dijo, que fue ah, el mirante sí. del sujeto. Es que yo no y sé por qué. Mira, yo no sé por qué. Igual que la H en huevo, Griseta. ¿Por qué usamos la H? No es necesaria. <risa> Así son las reglas de inglés. ¿Por qué Sometimes puede ir al principio? Y el, o sea, está raro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero usted solo ubíquese cuál es el sujeto. ¿Sí? Entonces diga, pongo primero el sujeto y después al adverbio. Y, y con el sometimes también ni se complique. Igual, póngalo igual que, lo, que todo, ¿verdad? Sí, hay sometimes. Sí, pues sí, después del sujeto. ¿eh? Póngalos a toditos para que no se complique la vida, ¿verdad? <risa> ok, ¿qué le ha parecido la clase, Griselda? Muy bien. Muy Está bien, ¿entiende? Sí, sí. A mí me Pero gusta que... Creo que con la, el, el audio que puso de, la, de sí. la chica que estaba, no sé por qué no, no, no lo escuché hasta Bien. que no sé qué hizo, que sí ya lo, lo escuché. ¿Sabe qué hice? Porque a veces hay una, hay una falla con relación a presentar eh, PowerPoints en Zoom. Eh, que, por ejemplo, usted está presentando un slide, ¿verdad? Una, y luego pasa a la siguiente y en el Zoom se queda congelado. Y ahora es primera sí, vez, dice que es primera vez que me da problemas con el audio. Nunca me, entonces lo que hice fue me dejé de compartir y lo volví a compartir. Pero igual no, no escuchó tan fuerte, ¿verdad? No se oía tan fuerte. Sí, se escuchaba fuerte, pero como con, había como unas interrupciones. Mm. Cuando se va la señal o algo así. Ah, pues ya sé que era, Griselda. Era mi, mi internet, era. Mm. Y es que eh, a veces le tira un mensajito que dice su internet es inestable, usted no ha pagado internet, <risa> no, no que es, su internet es inestable, dice entonces como que uh, bajones ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí. y bueno, pero espero que en el próximo ejercicio sí lo escuche muy bien okay. sí, sí, los anteriores no lo había escuchado bien, sí, ¿verdad? solo ahora fue el problema sí, el internet, echemos la culpa al internet Grisel, <risa> ok eh, bueno, entonces los consejos que siempre les doy a los a los compañeritos que quedan en, en, en los 10 minutos, ¿verdad, Griselda? Eh, que usted ha adquirido un compromiso con el inglés, ¿verdad? Y, y la felicito, obviamente. Me imagino que viene noche de trabajar y luego conectarse, luego hacer la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y, y tantas cosas que hay que hacer en la casa también, va y, y yo sé, entonces es un sacrificio, es un sacrificio, pero créame que le va a servir muchísimo. Entonces, ahora que usted ya tiene este compromiso con el inglés, tiene que dedicarle mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Y uno de los recursos que le va a ayudar mucho es la música, ¿verdad? Escuche una canción semanal. Ayer, por sí, ejemplo... Sí, yo veo películas. Excelente. No eh, pero le recomiendo que vea de muñequitos. Porque ahorita, recuerda, estamos en nivel básico, ¿verdad? Eh, y el lenguaje ah. de los muñequitos es, es como más entendible. <risa> no, no le gustan. <risa> Ya le vi la carita que no le gusta. No. ¿Y tiene bebés en casa, Griselda? No. Ah, oh, porque yo le iba a decir que, que viera las películas con ellos, ¿va? pero. No, tengo una sobrina, pero no vive conmigo. Bueno, entonces cuando llegue su sobrina, ahí pónganse a ver las películas de muñequito en inglés, oiga. Va a aprender usted y va a aprender su sobrinita, oiga. Bueno. Aquí entonces... uso el tubolito. Oh, excelente. Trato de, de ir avanzando un poco. Uh -huh. Solo que eh, mi consejo es que no se apegue mucho al español, ¿verdad? Este, igual con las películas, no, 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 es de no ponerles eh, subtítulo en español, sino que no. solo en inglés, ¿verdad? Sí, en inglés. Entonces lo mismo sucede ahí con, con la música, con los, con los videos y todo, ¿verdad? Y con el duolingo, trate de no solo ir traduciendo, sino que ir practicando el vocabulario más que todo, ¿verdad? Y eh, fíjense que yo no sé si usted eh, ha visto los, los videos que envío al grupo. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. ¿Ha, ha abierto o ha practicado alguno por ahí? Es, eh, practiqué ese, ese de los que le pudimos ahora, de los perdidas en adverbios de frecuencia. Ah, Había mandado uno de esos. Sí, verdad. El presente simple, sí, lo mandé. Mm. Eh, quiero ver el... Marte, también una, unas conversaciones que eran para eh, este, escuchar y comprender algo así. Ah, sí, una de dos horas y media. 
Ajá, sí, pero no lo escuché todas. No, no, Ahí el no, trabajo no. le estuve. Tranquila. El inicio. Eh, fíjese que ese ejercicio, tengo un hijo de 17 años, me dijo que le sirvió muchísimo para mejorar el, el, el escuchar. Porque usted escucha, no, usted, usted no ve lo que va, sino que hasta el final le ponen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y además de eso le ayuda en el vocabulario, porque esas son expresiones que, que se usan a diario en, en inglés. ¿Verdad? Así es que... Sí, más que todo para esto, para, porque a veces uno no sabe cómo se pronuncia. Sí, correcto. Y ayer... Sí, también, la palabra, pero... Ayer les mandé un, un video de... de de, de música también eh, se llamaba Pretty Woman no sé si ah, es que de Elvis Presley es, eh, cómo se llama Roy Orbison algo así se llama ah el ori sí el original es el Roy, <ríe> Roy Orbison de Elvis. ah no sabía que había una versión de Elvis Pretty Woman Walking Down the Street ah, buena canción verdad así que ahí puede practicar y la semana pasada les mandé una de los Rolling Stones Angie eh, oh. ¿Cómo así? Usted puede a música, no me sí. Sí, me gusta. Bueno, me, me agrada mucho porque esa es la música. No. Y como que le guste la música, usted está bien joven, bueno. Uh, no sé, quizás. Sus papás, hermano, su papá o Ajá, su hermano. Porque... Ah, ok, muy bien. Ah, pues sí, estamos bien, estamos, uh -huh. estamos en sintonía. Pues ahí, ahí practique toda la música de Led Zeppelin. Sí, claro. La de perro negro, black dog. Black dog. <ríe> bueno, Griselda, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta extra. Um, Any extra no. question? No, no question. Ok. Que no. Ok. And thank you for your participation. Le agradezco mucho la, su participación porque a veces todos están de oyente y no hay a quien. Griselda, <ríe> help me, Griselda. Sí, sí. <ríe> Ok, no, no, no. thank you. Thank you very much. No, y a veces quiero participar, pero ya está hablando otra al mismo tiempo. Pues me no, pero levante la manita, ahí tiene la opción. <risa> Media vez me levante la manita, yo le doy participación, no se preocupe, oiga. <risa> ok, okay. Have, have a good night, Griselda. God bless you. Okay, See you on night. Monday. Bye bye. Okay, bendiciones. Ok, thank you.